So recently in San Francisco, um, Target's officially closing all of their locations, the five locations earlier now because of a rise in crime. Um, we've talked about this before. Uh, people can basically just walk into stores and steal. Um, they keep it under the limit. And the way the prosecution works in San Francisco is they're a lot nicer to criminals that create that basically do petty crimes. Um, George Gascon, um, he's one of those people in Los Angeles. I'm sad that he got elected. He's getting recalled. Um, yeah, he got almost recalled immediately. And um, he's on that wave, too, of, like, let's lessen prison sentences for um, criminals. I mean, recently, George Gascon, two guys, there was a situation with three guys who were, he wanted to sell some shoes to some people. I might be wrong. I'll put the story on screen because I don't know. I don't remember the exact details to the T. But he, um, he went to meet up with these two guys to sell some shoes, and they ended up shooting him and stealing his shit. Uh, the dude didn't die, but they were both underage teenagers, and George Gascon did not charge the kids with, one, possessing an illegal firearm, and for shooting the dude. They charged him with burglary and um, another crime. I, I don't remember the, directly off the top of my head. It'll be on screen. Um, and so we're seeing, you know, San Francisco, the massive looting. It's not even, like, protests. Like, people just loot the stores just because they can, and, you know, they know there's not really a big... Um, repercussion for what they're doing. I mean, yeah, we've seen this in a viral video before. I think No Jumper had posted the clip that I'm talking about where a dude was looting a uh, target and the security guard didn't really do anything because there actually could be more legal repercussions for him stopping the guy for looting him. So essentially they were just like, uh, just let it, they just let it happen. Exactly, there's a lot of stores that tell the, specifically tell their employees to not, if someone steals, do not like try to stop them. Just, if anything, you would call the police, but like they're not allowed to stop them, right? right? And so um, there's instances of people getting fired for doing that in San Francisco, for trying to stop criminals from stealing. Mm. And you know, they, get, they literally get fired for this. Yeah. And so I'm just, again, like we, we just talked about this. I don't understand why people continue to vote for these idiots. Like we literally are like, some of these things I just feel like you go to high school and even with the high school education, you should be able to like look at these situations and be like, yeah, lowering criminal sentences does not, that's not justice, like criminal yeah, justice. No, reform. it's not. Give, putting criminals in an actual rehabilitation instead of just a, basically a slave pen that's, that's actually, actually what, what should work, but that's not what's the exactly. reality of the situation. And now we have like DAs like George Gascon, who is getting recalled, who's just like, oh yeah, um, this guy who did this, let's, oh, he's underage. You know, he just made a mistake. He only shot that guy. But um, let's not charge him with the gun. It's just like, what? Yeah. yeah. Like, how, like, where's your brain? Like, I don't understand that. And so um, we, we continue to see the downfall of the criminal justice system in the state of California. We had George Gascon who had to have a judge literally tell him, you cannot ignore laws. Like any normal person's like, yeah, it's a law to prevent crime. Yeah. And then the, he just was like, oh, I'm gonna ignore that. And he had to have a judge tell him, you cannot do that. Like that to me is just like, how could you vote for someone like that? I mean, how could you vote for someone to, like to that? To be perfectly honest, if this shit keeps getting out of hand, like the way it is, like if it gets worse than it is now, then those store like Target could just permanently leave San Francisco. They could, and again, like, why would they? That's too much. They'd be losing way too much money. Because again, it's a franchise. Even though it's like a franchise, you know, uh, superstore. It's still a business. Exactly, and if you're incurring massive losses, like yeah, I know they price it into their budgets, right? And like, um, they know that like, okay, someone's probably gonna steal one or two things or a few thousand dollars worth. But if they have it like so bad that it's like, okay, we're losing tens and tens of thousand dollars a month. Like where our yeah. you know, like our profit margins like shrinking, it's like they might just be like, yeah, it's not even worth having a store here anymore, and it's just like, okay, dude, like I really don't understand like the the residents of San Francisco. It's just like you guys have homelessness, you have crime, rising crime, you have all these issues. It's like, put someone better in office, like just put put a better mayor in there, yeah. put a better DA, a DA, a police chief in there. Like honestly, like is it really that hard? to like turn your city around. I mean, I think this just goes back to, so we talked about it in a different topic, like how broken the education system is. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't teach people proper, like 
we went to the same high school, and it was in a fairly affluential neighborhood, but the education was decent. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of shortcomings. There's still a lot of shit people don't know. There's like so many people don't know how to file taxes. Yeah. So many people don't know how the entire political system works, let alone the economic system. Or just in general, they don't even know how to research. And yeah. it's like, it's you would think that it's so easy because Google, but like people literally just like go on Twitter, they go on social media, get their news from there. And then they like, when they look stuff up, they read headlines and they're just like, oh yeah. Or they read, yeah. they read an opinionated source and they're like, that's fact. Or they read a biased article and say, that's fact, and don't look at anything else. Well, to be fair, on that point, everything's really opinionated right now. And certain news organizations are very biased. Yeah. But it's just like, bro, how the, how, like, even me, like, when I look at stuff, I'm like, oh, this, so-and-so happened to this. I look at, like, multiple articles to understand the situation. Yeah, from both sides of the situation. Because one the per, one article might have left something out, one article might have put something else in, one article might have just been using a lot of big words to try and like get a point across that they didn't need, you know, like, mm. so it's just like, how are you, like these cities are going like, especially like Los Angeles, San Francisco, Oakland, like they're just going to dog shit, dude. Like the people we keep putting in power are just like doing nothing. Like Mike Bonin's getting recalled, we talked about that. Oh yeah. And, um, now, after he got another recall election, he started, like, moving homelessness inside. He started, like, putting rules into place. Oh, so he did to, his job finally? Yeah, he finally started doing his job and, like, to getting homelessness off, like, Imagine. Venice. Imagine if fucking you had to threaten someone to fire them just, for, just, just to get them to do their job. That's so, that shows how incompetent that they, that they are in general. Exactly. If you literally have to threaten someone with losing their job to get them to do their job... They should not be in political office should, at all. No, exactly. It just makes no sense. Uh, but comment down below what you guys think. How do you feel about this whole situation with the targets, you know, closing early? Um, and now, you know, they're closing at 6 as opposed to 10. Do you think that um, these Democratic cities are failing because of the, the, the leaders that, you know, we're electing? Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.